Hello and welcome back to another episode. In this particular video, you'll see how I clean my mass airflow sensor in my 2004 Kia Optima. So I start by just removing that very small metal clip from the electrical plug that goes into the sensor itself. And it looks kind of like a paper clip, but a little bit heavier duty. You just need a little screwdriver to pop it right out. Now, after that, I found it was easier to disconnect the whole air filter cover and hose assembly. So that meant I had to unlatch the cover for the air filter and then loosen the hose clamps on the uh, tubing there that you can see and just took a Phillips screwdriver and there were one, two, three clamps if I remember correctly. Two in between the sensor and the air filter and one right after the sensor. And like I said, it, it was a little bit easier just to take the whole assembly out. Uh, I tried, as you can see here, unsuccessfully to disconnect just the sensor part of that air duct so in a little bit you'll see I just take the whole darn thing out and once I loosened everything and I had to loosen it quite a bit but once I loosened everything I figured out that by giving it a little bit of a twist it was actually easier to kind of break that seal because I'm pretty sure it's never been removed. And once I loosened the clamps and gave the whole ductwork a little bit of a twist, I can pull it out. And I'll apologize now if you hear uh, a little bit of Glenn Miller in the background. For some reason, I've gotten into records lately. Whole family has, and I was lucky enough to find a copy of the soundtrack to the Glenn Miller story starring Jimmy Stewart, one of my favorite actors of all time. So you can see here, I got the whole assembly out, and then I was able to wrestle with it a little bit and get that sensor portion out. Notice there's that small piece of air duct that's still attached. I wasn't too worried about it. I uh, wasn't required to take it off uh, to get to what I needed to get to in order to clean that airflow sensor. see here what it looks like. It's that little teeny tiny piece of metal sticking out into the middle of that air duct. So I just went to the local auto store and bought this spray can of cleaner. From everything I could see online it was almost like an alcohol spray and According to the can, I was supposed to spray it, I don't know, 10 times or so. Uh, I just sprayed what I felt comfortable with. And then this is a little extra step I took to make it easier to see what direction the air was flowing. And, well, made sense to me. Um, I don't know that I'll ever take this part off again, but if I do, I figured it'd be safe just to uh, mark it. And then there's a little bit of debris in that box there where the air filter goes. Not very much though. So with my arrows marked and easily visible, I basically just re reverse the whole process of removing the assembly reconnecting everything, made sure I had a nice uh, nice seal there for the hose, 
And once I got everything situated, then I made sure my hose clamps were oriented in such a way that I could easily tighten those uh, Phillips screws there. Always bothers me when somebody puts a hose clamp on and doesn't think quite about what it would be like to put it on or take it off down the road and well just a couple extra minutes will save you a lot of time and effort down the road. So that's about it. Pretty easy. Didn't take a lot of work. Didn't replace anything. Just clean the sensor, put it all back together, and that was it. Now the real question, real question is, will it fix the problem I'm having? I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. So thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.